details. And the details. In a story. In a story. Mir Sam. Mir Sam. Perfect. So today we're going to listen to our story in our Kagan team mats. And I'm going to be stopping throughout to ask you questions. And we're going to be using our different structures. So I have several different ones that we're going to go through. You know, sometimes we switch in between. So I want you to really listen for which structure that we're using and follow the directions, okay? Step one, when I say go, I want you to walk to your Kagan team mat spot. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Ready, go. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Wonderful job going to your team mat spot. Today, we're going to listen to this story. And the title is The Very Cranky Bear. Hmm. Now, just by listening to that title and looking at the picture, can you make a prediction? A prediction is when we tell what we think might happen. So I want you to think inside your mind right now. Think, what do you think this story is going to be about? The very cranky bear. And with a time pair share, one partner is talking for 20 seconds and the other partner is listening. Okay? So, and remember, we want to be a good listener. You know, if your partner's talking, should we play with our shoes? No. no. Should we pick up things off the floor? No. no. We should be sitting and looking and really listening to what they think this story is going to be about. Okay? Now, if you are a cat partner, you will go first. Okay? So, everybody had a few minutes to think. Cats, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, turn towards your dog partner and tell them what you think this story will be about. Go. Go. The bear is going to be very, very cranky. thought that this bear was just going to be so mad that he wasn't going to talk to anybody. So let's see what this story is about, okay? Make sure we're crisscross applesauce up here next to our mat. Ready? In the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends found a perfect place to play. So now... I want you to think about the characters in this story. And what we're going to do this time, hold on just a second. This time, we're going to rally Robin with our face partner. Can you point to your face partner? Remember, that's the person in front of you. Awesome job, okay? And what we're going to do with the rally Robin, remember, that's back and forth. Like, dog will give an answer, cat gives an answer. Dog says one, cat says one. And I want you to think about the characters in this story and see if you can take turns naming them all. Madeline, scoot up to your mat. Uh, see if you can take turns naming them all. And when you get all of them, I want both partners to raise their hand so I know you're ready. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, dogs are going to start. Who's starting? Dogs. Rally Robin characters. Ready? Go. We know characters are the people or the animals in the story. Are these characters people or animals? Animals. That's right. I heard us naming them all. Let's see what happens to these characters. If you're ready, make sure you're crisscross applesauce, hands in lap, ginger snap, and here we go. Wait a minute, said Zebra. As she scratched her furry chin, maybe if we cheered him up, he would let us come back in. Now, let's think about this for a second. Most of the time when we read a story, the plot will have a problem and a solution, right? Right now, these animals have a problem. Their problem is they want somewhere dry and warm to play, but they can't because bear is cranky, right? So I want you to think right now, how would you solve this problem? How do you think we could solve this problem in the story? And we're going to use our timed round robin to do this, okay? So what's going to happen? Remember with a timed round robin, one person gets to tell their ideas to the whole team. So that person gets to stand up, okay? And then when their turn's over, you'll sit back down and our next teammate will stand up. So this time, I'm going to start with the green cat. So I want everyone to think for just a few seconds, okay? How could we solve this problem? What do you think? It could be how you think the animals should solve the problem, 
or maybe it would be how you would solve the problem. But what, what, how do you think we could solve this problem right now in the story, okay? So when I say go, Green Cat will stand up and you're gonna tell your ideas to your team, okay? All right, Green Cats, go ahead and stand up. You have 20 seconds. Oh, Green Cat, please. And go. The animals are going to kill them because the stripes are going to kill the animals. That's the way I thought. I like it. Good job. Now, are you ready to see if they solve this problem? Yes. Me too. If you're ready, fix your crisscross, hands in lap. Let's see what happens in this story. I'm excited to see. All right. So, Zebra fetched a tin of mud and lion some grass of gold. <laughs> they tried so hard to help the bear with their ideas. Did it work? No. No. So let's see here. Hold on. Why do you think bear is so cranky? Hmm. I want you to think about that for a second. Wait just a second. Why do you think bear is so cranky? We're going to round robin with our teammates and it's just going to be a single round robin. So each partner is just going to give one idea. It shouldn't take us very long. It's just a quick answer. I want you to think of one idea why you think bear is so cranky. Okay. I'm going to start with the red dog. If you're a red dog, raise your hand. Okay. Red dog will start. It will go to blue cat, pink dog, green cat. When all teammates have answered, here's the cool part. When all teammates have answered, I want you to put your hands in the middle. Ready? One, two, three. Red dog. Red dog. Red dog. Red dog. Red dog. All right. Let's see if we find out why. He really is so cranky. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. As Bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and roared and shook. So, I want you to think about this story for just a second, okay? And what do you think Bear will do when he wakes up, okay? So I want you to think for just a second. We're going to do a time pair share real quick with our face partner. Can you point to your face partner, the person in front of you? Good, okay? And each person will have 20 seconds to talk. <clears throat> this time the cats are going to go first. Uh, wait a second. Class, oh class. Yes, oh yes. Good. Oh, I'm looking for teams that are crisscross ready. We're almost finished. That was a really great story. Awesome job. Okay? And so cats are going first. And we're going to discuss what we think will happen next in this story. If this story was going to continue, what's Bear going to do when he wakes up? Okay? Cats are going to go first. Ready? Go. 